Hello everybody, in today's video, I'm going to talk about dynamic remarketing. What is dynamic remarketing? How does it work? How is it different from standard remarketing? Whether or not dynamic remarketing is working for your website? Why should you care about it? And if it's not working, then how do you go and fix it? So all of this will be covered in this video. So watch this till the end. This is going to be a very informative video and I want to give you a heads up that almost 8 out of the 10 accounts that we audit on Google Ads, we find that dynamic remarketing tag is broken. So this is something that a lot of Google Ads agencies, PPC agencies do not even know about or they don't, do not even care about for their e-commerce clients. Especially if you are an e-commerce business, uh, DTC brand dynamic remarketing is your make or break. And in fact, the other aspect of is this that the candidates we, we interview for job nine out of the 10 candidates do not even know about dynamic remarketing. So there is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, there, there is lack of information among agency and uh, experts and let alone clients, you know, very few clients would even know that dynamic remarketing is important for their online store or DTC brand. So uh, let's start with the first what is dynamic remarketing and how is it different from standard remarketing? So as you can see on my screen, this is your audience manager in Google ads. This is the, with the new interface because this is going to be enforced. So I thought I will record this video with the new interface only. I think you're probably familiar with audience manager and remarketing. The standard remarketing, the way it works is people come to your website and let's say they do not end up buying the product. And then you want to remarket to them and show them, uh, remind them about the product that they have added to the cart or product they started checkout with or the product they viewed, they viewed. And you want to remind them, hey, by the way, you wanted to buy products on our website. Why don't you come back and buy it? Or for example, some advertisers would say, here's a 10% coupon. Why don't you complete your purchase? That's how standard remarketing works. The difference here is that in a standard remarketing, all of the visitors that come to your website and you want to remarket to them. So for example, you set up a campaign where you have, you are retargeting, remarketing to all the non-converters on your website. Standard remarketing allows you to set up one ad that you can display to all of them. So let's say 10,000 visitors came to your website this month and 9,500 of them did not convert, did not end up buying products on your website. So you can run one standard ad to all these 9,500 non-converting audience and say that, hey guys, why don't you come back to our website and complete your purchase? Here is a 10% discount coupon. But what if those 9,500 people had in, were interested in different products? They had their own unique products to buy in that case, because you are an e-commerce business, you want to go back to them and say that, hey, by the way, this is the product you were interested in and you did not complete this. On this particular particular product, I have a 5% or 10% discount coupon or it's sitting in the cart. The price that we had is uh, only for this month. It might go even out of stock. So like a lot of, uh, you know, uh, counter offers you can make and you can reach out to them. The difference here is that with dynamic remarketing, you can identify which product your non-converting one audience was interested in, and you can go back to them with the ad of the same product with an offer, right, to sweeten the deal, right? So standard remarketing, you can go with one ad to all the non-converting audience. Dynamic remarketing, you can directly uh, go and show them those individual products they were interested in. So if the 9,500 people that did not convert on your website, they were interested in 100 different products individually, you can serve 100 different ads to each of those individual uh, visit non-converting visitors and show them a very personalized ad saying that, hey, this product, there's a 10% discount coupon or this is going out of stock or there is a limited period, uh, you know, uh, offer or something, whatever is the counter offer that you have. So I hope you understand the difference between dynamic remarketing and standard remarketing. How dynamic remarketing works is that 
when you set up a campaign for standard remarketing you set up a, let's say the most common option is the display remarketing campaign right so you set up a display campaign set up a bunch of banners and add the remarketing list as your target audience and run the campaign right uh, of course you can switch choose to uh, turn off uh, audience expansion on depending on you know whether or not you want to maximize your uh, you know reach but i think in most cases you would uh, you do that turn off the audience expansion and let the campaigns run to your remarketing lists with a standard ad with dynamic remarketing on the same display campaign you can add a product feed right so go into the campaign settings add a product feed and then it becomes a dynamic remarketing because then what google can do is that it can take products and match with the visitor and show them a personalized ad of that product itself now how would google do that and what is the prerequisite for doing that for google to be able to do that you need dynamic remarketing tag to be working properly on your website in your google ads account and you can check this uh, and there are two ways to check whether or not dynamic remarketing is working right so one is that the dynamic remarketing tag should be working properly and second is that the id of the product should be matching with the feed id of the product in the feed right so let's do both the test and see whether or not dynamic remarketing is working for your website so here i have a client's website example so what i'm going to do is uh, let's first go and check in the google ads account this is because this is what we do when we when we're doing the audit so you go into tools and settings right and here in the audience so you go here tools you go to audience manager and on the audience manager where i am you go to data sources on the data sources you will um, google please load yeah so you will see this uh, google ads tag block right it says hits 97 in last 24 hours active parameters 13 and in use lists 11 out of 16 now you you need to go into the details of this and once you go into the details of this you will see that data source hits are here and you got to pay attention to the ecom prod id because this is the id that makes the dynamic remarketing work it can be the ecom prod id or it can be id one of these so for your dynamic remarketing tag to work properly ecom prod id should be firing should have hits usually the range of hits should be 20 30 percent if it is in that range you can you know safely say that dynamic remarketing tag is firing properly if it's not set up correctly you will see alerts here saying that dynamic remarketing tag is not working properly right it's not set up correctly but if it's set up correctly you will see the hits coming here of ecom prod id and total value right these should be similar right so ecom prod id total value or id and value so this id and this value right you notice how 22 percent of the hits is there on both ideally it should be equal so if you notice one of these two and the hits are there in the range of 15 to 30 percent you can safely assume that dynamic remarketing tag is working properly and now there is another test that you need to do is you need to go to your website and match the product id with the id of the product in the feed right because what happens in the e-commerce website you set up your e-commerce website if you want to run shopping ads or performance max campaigns uh, you know you gotta set up google merchant center account you have to set up a product feed that goes from your website to merchant center and merchant center in turns in turn uh, creates those products as ads and serves on google shopping uh, ad network right so what we want to do here we want to test whether or not products on our website and their ids are matching with the product id in merchant center so let's pick up one of the categories here right and then what we will do is we will go and test whether or not so uh, this is not sold out so i'm going to pick up this product now that when we are on the product page you can install and you need to install this plugin called tag assistant legacy by google okay 
And once you have this Tag uh, Assistant Legacy uh, plugin by Google, uh, you can, on that product page, try to see if there is a Google Ads Remarketing Tag set up. And if it's set up, it will show up like this. So go into this tag and you will go to Remarketing Validation. Okay. And once you go to Remarketing Validation, you'll scroll down here, you will see Requests. Click on the Requests, you will see something like this. So two things you need to see that should be firing here is ecom prod ID and ecom total value or ID and value, right? In this case, the dynamic remarketing tag is set up with ecom prod ID and total value, ecom total value. Then that is what you need. So it's a good indication that it's firing. But is this ID matching with the product ID in the merchant center is what we need to check. So we'll copy this ID. We'll go to merchant center. And we'll go to products, we'll go to all products, uh, filter the product by ID, item ID, and then paste the ID, item ID we had copied from the product page and apply and see for ourselves if that product is here and it's matching. So yes, ID is matching with this product. This is the same product we have here, correct? So we have done two tests. One is that dynamic remarketing tag was working properly in Google ads. Ecom prod ID and total value hits were there in the range. And now we have also matched that it's firing on the website and it's also matching the product feed in merchant center. So at this point, you can say that your dynamic remarketing tag is working properly. Now, if you're running performance max, dynamic remarketing is being done uh, built in. Performance Max, that's the quality of Performance Max. It can do dynamic remarketing built in. If you're running a standard shopping campaign, you will have to set up a separate dynamic remarketing campaign, right? And like I said, you can set up dynamic remarketing campaign by setting up a standard display remarketing campaign add, and add a product feed to it. That's it. That's it. You have to, that's all you have to done. So, so far we have covered whether, what is dynamic remarketing? How is it different from standard remarketing? how to check whether remarketing is dynamic remarketing is working properly on your website via two methods by checking within Google ads, audience manager data sources, whether the tag is firing properly set up properly and then checking on the website, whether the tag is firing properly on the product page and whether that ID is matching with the ID in the product feed. Great. We have also discussed why, uh, how dynamic remarketing is, is there is lack of awareness about this, super important uh, you know tool in google ads that helps e-commerce websites scale profitably scale exponentially so imagine if you're running like hundreds of products on your website and you're running shopping ads for them and you're not doing dynamic remarketing which means you're not doing personalized remarketing ads then how do you scale those campaigns but if you're doing that you are way better than the store that is not doing that. So a um, lot of, like I said, eight out of the 10 agencies we have noticed are not aware of this because we audit their accounts and in eight out of 10 accounts, we find that dynamic remarketing is not set up correct, correctly or it's not working properly or uh, product ID is not matching with the feed, those kind of things or dynamic remarketing tag is even not set, like, like campaign is not set up. Uh, the candidates we interview nine out of 10 are have no idea what is dynamic remarketing. So, but because you are watching this video, because you are following guided PPC and me, you are now in that top 10%. I would say you are in top 1% of Google ads experts agencies. And if you are a client, you are way more aware about what really matters for your shopping ads and performance ads campaigns to work really well for you. This is what we do. <laughs> this is why we are different from other agencies and experts. And if you need professional help with Google ads, go to our website, Google ads, uh, sorry, guidedppc.com, request a free audit. We are happy to take a look and identify things like these for you and give you an action plan free of cost. If you are a business owner, if you are a specialist or a agency, please don't reach out to us. <laughs> Because for agencies and fellow uh, uh, fellow agencies and specialists, we offer courses and coaching program recordings. We've done a lot of case studies. You can go and learn from those. Of course, if you're an agency and you want to work with a white level partner agency, 
we do white label so come come to us and uh, we'll help you we'll manage your google ads accounts uh, in the background you can be client facing uh, you can we will provide you all the reports we'll do all the dirty work we'll provide you all the insights about what we are doing and you can in turn take this insights to your client and say that you're doing an amazing job for them so unless you are a unless you want to become a white label partner uh, don't reach out to us for free audit instead go to our uh you know academy so academy.guidedppc.com and there you can you know find all the courses and coaching call recordings case studies you can go through them and level up uh that's pretty much i had in this video hope this is helpful cheers